Sure. And as we and and as we all know, blonde hair, blue eyes, blonde hair, green eyes, fair skin, right. nothing nothing sells more than that. I mean, why do you think that the hype train was so fucking stacked on uh, Sage Northcutt when he came out? God, you want to talk about a poster child? Imagine if he had lived up to the hype. He was uh, seriously, man. I don't think that there's ever been anybody in the UFC that has had a better overall look than Sage Northcutt for as far as this is the future. Fucking shredded to shit, fucking shredded to shit, has been an athlete since he was like three fucking years old. Yeah. His whole family has a martial arts lineage on top of that. You know, his sister's fighting, his sister's fighting now. Seems and like a genuinely nice guy. You know, yeah, I, well, well, yeah, he comes from a, he comes from a, you know, a religious background and a, a very please and thank you fa uh, oriented family and such. And they were they were saying, you know, he's gonna He's going to be it. He is going to be the they, they felt he was going to be the driving force because this is as clean cut uh, of a presentation. And once again, completely and totally derailed. And then they tried to do the same thing in one. And what do they do? And what, and, cracked. and what do they do? They put him in there with a guy who is known as one of the most ferocious Muay Thai strikers in the fucking game. Talk about being fed to the goddamn wolves first out. Problem with it is, is that he has he, he has youthful strength, but he does not have veteran experience. Right. And that is what is hurting him because youthful strength is only going to take you so far over veteran experience. And he just never got the opportunity to get that veteran experience. I don't know what's going to happen with him. I don't know what his future holds for one championship. Uh, you know, he got let go pretty unceremoniously, of course, with uh, UFC. So it's just and, – and now, he did he get let go or traded? Mm. Because I, even the, even the trades, I still think the trades between UFC and one were smoke and mirrors. Yeah, I don't. I think he was. Uh, I think he was probably let go. I think he was. I think it was like. I think it was let go, and I just think that there were smoke and mirrors right there. Because matter, I know. Yeah. I was just gonna say, matter of fact, I'm, I'm I'm certain because I remember him doing a. I don't know if it was an interview or something, and I remember them talking about he wanted X amount of dollars. And Dana was just, pr I mean, pretty much everything that you're saying, like, we thought it, you were going to be this, and you weren't. You're just not worth as much as, you know, no hard feelings. It's just business, but you're, but you're just... You want, X, you want X amount of dollars, and, yeah, I mean, I mean, granted, he did get three wins. He did get, how many wins uh, did he have with UFC? He had, he had a few. I mean, you know, he had one, two three four five six and he had a few losses in there but this was during the hype train build this yeah. was not you know i mean he lost to mickey gall yeah he lost to brian uh barbarina yep and uh and then of course you know when he lost to uh cosmo alexandri which you know and by the way in his defense it's not like those three names were scrubs those are all three fucking. Yeah, but the last one was bad, man. The last one was bad. Twenty nine well, seconds into round one. Yeah, but again, that dude forty four and nine. Again, that veteran. Oh, 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 I know that. Like I said, the veteran experience, and also somebody who was known to be a fucking. You know, I mean, wasn't he also like a? a, a wasn't he also like a? A crazy Muay Thai champion. On top of that, multiple yeah. time, multiple time. Uh, Thai world champion multiple time, you know, and he was just that, and that, uh, that veteran, that veteran mentality came in and they tracked him down. I mean, seriously, he, they, they, they saw him coming. They saw him coming, but in Sage's defense, I mean, he doesn't ha he's not even close to having an upside down career. The guy's 11 and three, yeah. you know, that's, yeah. That's not that's not a horrible record. That is a record that you can easily come back from and continue to have an incredibly successful career. I mean, how old is dude? Sage is twenty four. He's twenty fucking four. He isn't even close to his prime yet. He's got plenty of time. He just has to kind of go back, retool some things, and you know, 
really improve on his overall game because it just seems like, you know, I mean, he's gotten caught in several submissions and he got caught in a very brutal knockout. In fact, didn't it break his jaw? It fucked his face up. Yeah. Didn't, bro- didn't, he, have to, didn't he have to have his wi- uh, a jaw yeah. wired shut? I, I don't remember exactly what it was, but he I know it was some kind of facial surgery. That was pro, that's probably that's and it was bad. It was bad. It it, it yeah, wasn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't. It wasn't very good, and that's a shame. And that and that's a sh- and that's a shame. 